Hi and welcome back to Reconvert. In this video, we are going to be talking about the survey widget. We will demonstrate how to use it and also give some examples of great scenarios for surveys. In this tutorial, we will be using both the app's dashboard and the page builder. If you're not sure how to get to the page builder or how to use the app, please refer back to our onboarding video just to get an idea of how the app works. We will be placing our survey in the left area. So let's go to the left area, add a section and choose the survey option. Now the survey is a little different than other widgets because we can't create a new survey in the thank you page builder. The first setting I need to set for my survey is to select an existing survey. As you can see here, I don't have any pre-existing surveys in my store. So before I can use this widget, I need to go back to the dashboard and create a new survey. So let's do that right now. I am back in the store's dashboard and what I need to do to create a new survey is go to the data section, survey. In here I can see and edit existing surveys or create new ones. So let's start by creating our very first survey. We need to give it a title. In this case, we are going to create a survey just asking the customers for feedback about their shopping experience. So this is also the title that we will give it. Once we've saved the title, we can start adding questions. We will only add one question here just so you guys can see exactly how it looks in this section. And then we'll go back to the page builder and add the rest of the questions there. So the first question we're going to ask is whatever the user contacted our support while shopping. We can choose now the type of answer that we are expecting. There are four different types of answers that I can allow. I could choose the text area, which would just leave a blank space for the customer to type in his message. I could use the select option. The select option gives you a drop down menu, much like this one, where the customer can choose one option. So we can do it yes or no because these are the answers fitting this question. I can choose a radio button and the radio button would give us the option to choose only one of the options available or you can choose the checkbox. The checkbox allows the customer to choose how many options he wants from the answers. We're going to choose the radio one because I think it fits best in this scenario, but we're going to demonstrate all of these options just so you see what they look like. Now we will press save and our survey is saved. Let's go back to the dashboard and from that back to the page builder. Now in the page builder, let's go back to our survey widget in the left area and choose the survey that we have just created. At the moment we chose the survey, you can see it appears on the page with the radio button question that we've just asked. Now for the survey, there are a few different settings that we can set. You can choose whatever to show this survey multiple times to the same customer. Meaning if the customer came back to the thank you page or even created a new order and got to a new thank you page, would the customer see the survey time and time again or would he only see it once? We're going to allow the customer to see the survey every time he makes a purchase because this is a survey about how the experience of purchasing in the site went and we want the customer to answer it every time he completed a new purchase. Next, you can control the submit button. You can change the text. I think I'm going to leave the text as submit, but I'm going to change the color to be something that matches the aesthetic of our store a little more. You can also control the thank you message at the end of the survey. Um, you can control the message itself and you can control the color. Again, I'm going to only change the color here. You can also change the title here. It's the same title that we've just created on the dashboard. And now for the most important part. Once you've created a survey, you can add and remove questions in the thank you page builder. So you only have to create the survey for the first time on your dashboard. And from then on, you can edit it fully in the thank you page builder. We can see here the first question that we've already created. We can change it and edit that, but we're going to leave it as is. But we are going to add a new question. For the second question, let's ask the customer how easy it was to shop in our store. 
We could use a radio button again for this option, but we've already used it. Use that. So let's choose select. Okay, so we gave the customer four options. Uh, it might have been very easy. It was okay, mostly clear, but some things confused me or not clear at all. Let's save this question. Now, as you can see, once we save the question, the submit button turned into a next button. So until the customer arrives at the last question, he would keep seeing next. Let's add another question. In question number three, let's ask the customer what categories he shopped from. And in this time, let's give him a checkbox option. Remember, the checkbox option allows the customer to choose a few options. Okay, so we've added four options for the customer to choose from. Let's save this question and go on to the last question. We're going to ask the customer just to give us his general feeling about shopping in our store. For this option, we're going to just leave it a text area because we want the customer to just use his own words to let us know how it went. Let's save the last question. And we're basically done preparing our survey. So we have the survey ready. Let's save the page and see what the customer sees when they reach the thank you page. Let's go to our latest order and go to view order status page. So at the bottom of the page, we can see the survey. Let's start by answering the survey and just go through with it. Did you contact our support while shopping? Let's say I did not. This is, as you remember, the radio button. So I can only choose one option. How easy and clear was shopping in our store? Here we chose the select option. So we just need to select one of the options. I think it was very easy. Question number three, what categories did you shop? Here we gave the customer the checkbox option. So I can choose a few options. Let's say I bought women's clothing for myself and some home decor stuff. And here, let us know how you liked shopping in our store. I can type in whatever I want. Let's say I loved it. And let's finish up with submitting the survey. Thanks for filling out our survey. This is the message that we chose. As you can see, it disappears after a few seconds to clear out the space on the page. Surveys can be very helpful to see your customer's satisfaction, to give them the feeling that someone is listening and is interested in their experience while shopping in the store and also learn from it what the pain points are for customers in your store. You can also use surveys to gauge customers' interest in a product or a collection that you are now developing and even allow them to impact what the collection turns out to be like. A survey can also be a great tool to step up your marketing game from general marketing to very personalized marketing. You can use it to collect customer information about their interests and their interest in your store and in your niche so that you can later market to them according to their interests exactly. I hope this video was helpful and I invite you to check out the rest of our training videos. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact us and our support team would be happy to help in anything.